it's fucking freezing in this room. I had to have the door closed all day long because Joe cannot stand to see any mess, even temporary. It's not going to last forever. It doesn't matter. He couldn't be able to stand it, even temporary. And I dragged my stuff upstairs so he wouldn't have to deal with it. But then I ran out of time. You know, he didn't tell me that they were going to text and not call. So I had to take, get all the texts off my phone and I saved them. So I had to find stuff to... I had to have the door closed all day. Because he can't stand to see mess. Again, it's temporary. It's not going to be forever. I knew it upset him. So I kept the door closed all day. And it's fucking freezing in here. Like, really, really cold. I can't sleep. I feel sick. I didn't eat. He was screaming at me. I'm not going to eat. He wasn't even willing to make his stuff while I was putting the food away so he could at least help me a little bit. He wasn't even willing to do that. And then he says, look what time it is, look what time it is. Yeah, but you sat there and did your music and did whatever. And you also didn't eat. You could have started while I was there. You want to wait till I'm completely out of the kitchen. Why? People who live together will work around each other. This isn't my home. Less of a life here than I had there. I have zero, practically zero access to, to internet. And I can't watch any TV at all. So I have less of a life. Plus I'm walking on eggshells with him. Come here, Omar. I don't want to owe Joe hundreds and hundreds of dollars if you pee on this thing. I had to wait to get my thing out of the garage. I was paranoid always that Joe Omar was gonna have an accident. We didn't have the, the, the mattress protector on. Because I had to wait to go through my stuff. Because the whole world revolves around Joe and his miserable, miserable, miserable job. It's fucking freezing in here. Freezing. Freezing. Because I had to keep the door closed. I don't care what he says. That is how you have to behave around an abuser. I have to keep the door closed because he wouldn't be able to stand the mess. It's that simple and I didn't have time to clean it up. I didn't sit around today and do anything. I was working nonstop. I was working nonstop and I dragged all the heavy stuff up these stairs. So he wouldn't have to see it or deal with it. But I'm a selfish bitch and I only care about myself and I don't understand what he's going through and etc, etc, etc. Whatever. You neither need nor want the stimulus $1,800 you got total. Use it to send me back home. Because this isn't my home. I thought it was going to be. But it isn't. It's just him being nice to let me come here. I'm not adding any value to his life whatsoever. Me and my dog are just a burden.